Hi and welcome to D1 DLC. My name's Kev and today we're looking at Serious Sam's Bogus Detour. Serious Sam's Bogus Detour is the latest installment in the highly successful Serious Sam franchise, brought to you by Digital Devolver and Crackshell. This time around, it's in the form of a highly addictive 2-6 shooter, and by the beard of Osiris, there's a ton of shooting to be had. The franchise creator's crew team have fine-tuned the all-or-nothing aspect of enemy placement across the entire SAM series that the 2-6 shooter genre is built for. The fact that Crackshell so brilliantly recreated this with an actual 2-6 shooter kind of feels natural. My only issue so far is that throughout the campaign is this enemy placement, not spawn. Once you've cleared an area, it stays cleared. Combine that with a keycard system for door puzzles, it means you spend a lot of time exploring and backtracking. With that in mind though, Bogus Detour emulates all of the previous entries in the franchise in that it only has two gears, first and fifth. You're either insanely frantic, fighting for survival against hordes of enemies, or waiting for the next insanely frantic explosion fest. The game itself isn't that difficult on normal, although I am yet to get past wave 5 on a survival map. The hardened series ramp up the difficulty significantly and pose an extreme challenge. Co-op and versus multiplayer modes are fantastic, and to me it's obvious the game was designed with online play in mind. With sessions hosted locally, fine tuning settings and running custom maps is already fantastic and easy, with the mod community springing up even during the beta period. As it launched, I highly suggest grabbing the Vacation of Crab Island, Bomber Sam and Bogus D Tour Unlimited mods as soon as you install the game. Progression through the levels is fast, with familiar enemies, elites and bosses present throughout the campaign. If you're familiar with the franchise, you'll be happy with how the enemies feel in the top-down format. Crackshell have done a great job capturing the essence of these enemies, and throwing it in your face. Bogus Detour plays brilliantly with the keyboard and mouse, and also has a full controlled support. It played well for me with the Xbox and PlayStation style controllers, however I had some issues with the Steam controller getting stuck with an inverted axis. The long-running history of Serious Sam has held it in good stead, and with multiple genres under its belt already, the franchise can safely add Twin Stick Shooter to its list of accomplishments. With all said and done, I'm going to have to give it a 4 out of 5 beards. Currently available through Steam, or good old games, the short of it is that Sam's Detour may be bogus, but his game is far from it. I strongly suggest you get to blowing away highly pixelated enemies in all their bloody glory. That's it from D1DLC today, don't forget to like and subscribe.